Today we'll be using the Dapple Dooleys, the first kit of the Dapple Dooleys. And these are incredibly short range Dooleys and have a lot of similarities to the Splusha Medic. In spread mode, you have terrible RNG, but you are a three shot and you have a fairly fast fire rate and are okay at painting. Not as good as painting like the Sploosh, but it's still okay and you'll be getting a fairly decent amount of coolers if you are painting during your downtime. However, you probably won't have a lot of downtime with this weapon. This is a very fast paced, hyper aggressive dually, like most duallys usually are. You of course have the standard two dodge rolls, but those are very fast dodge rolls that don't take you very far. I've seen some people liken it to teleporting, which is very similar. Again, they are very quick. And the end lag after your second roll isn't terribly long either, certainly not as long as other duallys have. Your fire rate also increases like the regular splat duallys in turret mode, so that's another reason to use it for DPS or things like that. As for your kit, it's interesting, it's a support kit, coming with squid beacons and tactic cooler. This has a bit of synergy, I won't lie. Beacons will help you get in after being aggressive and using your cooler respawn. Cooler is of course very nice for a hyper aggressive weapon to have since it lets you be a little bit more selfish with it even though you're still wanting to be supportive with it and throw it towards your teammates so they can at the very least utilize it. But this allows you to maybe feel a little bit braver pushing into places that you wouldn't be if you didn't have the cooler. And since you don't have a lethal bomb to poke or do anything like that with, Tactic Cooler really helps you get in places. Squid Beacons are also a nice recovery option once you do use the Tactic Cooler and die in it. That way you can just get back to the middle of the field fairly quickly. If you're good at placing them or if you're used to placing them at the very least, you're probably going to get more use out of them than I do. But it's never really bad to just place them up against a wall or something that enemies don't really look behind. Yes, they appear on the map, but a lot of people tend to don't shoot them down unless you find the one person that really just likes to find squid beacons. If you've looked at our gear, you can see we're running three mains of swim speed. That just works really well with this weapon for some reason. It's hyper aggression, and hopefully I can show that off here. I'm not very good at hyper aggression a lot of the times. I mean, you saw last time when we used custom blaster that even though I had full quick respawn, it was really just me playing until I felt comfortable moving in, even though I could technically feed and not really get punished too bad for it. Either way, the goal is three wins, and if we get three in a row without any losses, we'll go for a fourth one. I'll see you in the first match. All right, first match. The enemy team is completely AoE. They're different types of AoE, of course, but they are still all AoE, which is interesting for us. Since this is a hyper aggressive weapon, we're really going to be trying to push that. Unlike last time where I used the... Um, What's it called? The regular blaster? Very passively sometimes this weapon I'm going to just be very aggressive with because it's really where you're going to be playing it the best. I'm not terribly great at that though, so you will be seeing me not succeed at that as much, especially when commentating. Um, so if I am trying to make some really aggressive plays, I'm going to try to just be quiet and make sure those go off. A right, little aggressive there. Uh, should not have gone that far. Should have maybe just tried to hide a little bit more. But at the same time, when we have cooler, we want to use that uh, as quick as we can. Uh, try to take care of that guy. We get another wipeout, and there's our first win. Uh, yeah, games will go this quickly sometimes if your team can just kind of be extremely hyper aggressive against the enemy team. All right, match number two. Not a terrible team it looks like we're going up against. If we can get close enough to the Hydra, it's very easy to take it out while it's charging. Um, as long as they're not a good Hydra and they release the charge early. I'm fumbling the uh, actual putting down of these beacons. In fact, the enemy team is being very aggressive here. I did not see that bomb until it was too late. I don't know if that was just a weird angle on the wall there and it just rolled out of sight or what. Maybe I was just tunnel visioning. All right, so this is a bit sketchy. I'm going to probably try to be quiet and make sure we don't just immediately get knocked out. All right, let's try this again. Uh, hopefully we don't do too bad, or at least not as bad as last time. Really wanna try to get my coolers more, especially whenever we're just outranged by everything. This is gonna be a similar match in that regard. But our team is definitely not just like bamboozler and weird weapons. I'm going to wait here. I don't think I have much of a chance. There we go. Okay, the heavy Kicker may rape. Can I speak? No, I cannot speak. Not today. And I get one shot. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, can they get checkpoint? They probably did get checkpoint and they did get checkpoint. Um, but man, I could I just could not get the words out of my mouth in time. It means I am tensed up a little too much and I need to try to stop that. There we go. Great. 
Get this guy. I believe that was the not the ball point. Ball point still back this way. All right, we're popping this here. I think I'm going to use that as a meat shield if we can get it out. I'm um, not really sure what I want to do. So this is a very large choke point. I really got to do this while I have cooler active, though, before I lose it. So we're going to try to just utilize that. All right. You know what? Fast fall. Make sure we stay down here. I'm going to wait for our friend to finish his inkjet. There we go. Good. Uh, we're very close. We're very, very, very close. All right. Very good. I'm going to hide right down here. I think they handle that, especially with the other thing, and we'll take another win. Uh, this is a very um, wild weapon. You're either going to get curb stomped or you're going to just completely crush them, and there's no roll in between. All right, mode's changed over. It is either Tower Control or Clan Blitz. Since I've been playing Tower Control recently, I thought I might as well try to do something well here. Uh, we did pretty good last time on it, though, so maybe we can keep it going. All right, well. Should have just disengaged completely as soon as I took the damage. I tried to move past it, but laggy shots can be interesting sometimes. I do believe I just took it directly, though. I don't think it was actually a laggy shot. Right. There we go. Good. That's not good. We don't want to be hit by that. All right. Good. There we go. You're down. Uh, this is just a very awkward spot for me to be in. Ah, man. That's where the spread mode can be a bit rough, because when you're jumping, even at point blank, it's still going to miss a couple of times. Nice. Tried to lead my shot there and pre-fire to where I thought the one guy was going to go. That's a blaster. We don't want to play against him too much. I did forget to note it was another um, triple AOE team. So that's interesting. All right. I think I want to go while I have downtime. I want to be farming for our special. Even though I believe I just used it, but we're not doing very well today. We're not very professional right now. All right, we'll take the trade there, I think. Didn't have cooler on me anymore, but that's fine. All right, everyone's down, so we're going to have to start defending once more. Um, we've got a lot of pain on the right that we need to recover, so I think that's what I'm going to do to get our special back up. Give that to our S-Blast and try to utilize this. Oh, where'd he go? I'm probably dead. I did not see where the blaster went. Never mind. Good job, friend. I'm trying not to sit in place for too long um, and let my teammate get in a little bit closer. I'll let we get the kill on him. I'm just going to sub strafe around here. We don't have a lot of paint, but we have enough to take the kill. So that's pretty nice. Going to go ahead, throw another cooler out, chain that and start shooting at our friend up here on the platform and just make sure they can't drop. And there's a third win. That was probably a very anticlimactic series of games, um, but they went fairly quickly at the very least. All right, there's three wins with the Dapple Doolies. That was probably the fastest series of games we've had. If it wasn't us knocking them out, it was them knocking us out. So I think that really shows off how the weapon plays very well. Now, if you're better with the weapon, you're not probably going to be feeding 24 seven like I am, but that's about all I know to really do. The cooler enables you so much whenever you just don't feel comfortable actually moving in. So you'll just use that free low respawn time to actually do things. And if you're a little more strategic with your beacons, that also really helps a lot. But I tend to just put it on the paths that I use up against the wall or something like that. Either way, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a comment below and maybe even consider subscribing. Until next time.